Hey, I'm back. I'm with a new deck. This was my very first deck. This was my very first deck. Um, that's that I really wanted to pop out there. So. What we're going to do is look look at the new, okay? Let's look at the new situation <laughs> that we got going on. So, tell me all about this new. <laughs> all right, we got the star. All right, so, tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. So we have a slow start to a situation. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with Air Earth. I do feel like this is destiny it's like a, a placement in your chart for sure um, so it looks like this is you or someone you know most definitely going towards new which is fantastic what else what else? What else? What else? That's too many. What else? And it looks like it, it could be work or it's a slow start. Okay. So it does look like there's some type of new contract or, again, attached to your Akashic Records. Okay. It's going to require teamwork. <clears throat> this one wanted to pop out. <laughs> Nine of Swords. So... There could be some sleepless nights. Um, I do feel like you're most definitely being guided through this situation. What else? So try not to stress out. Don't stress, don't stress, don't stress, don't stress. What else about this new start? Got the five of wands. <clears throat> but it was reversed, but I'm reading these upright right this second. Um, whatever this new start is, You're definitely gonna stress, <laughs> um, but 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 don't because the guys it, it was reversed. Like there really is no need. This really is being guided. I mean, look at it. I mean, it it really is being guided. Something about this five of wands. So you are gonna stress. I I don't know why, but you are <clears throat> because it's a new start. Okay, um, and new starts can be stressful. Slow and steady wins the race here, guys. This is not a night that rushes in. It's not a situation you need to rush through. It, what this is telling me, it's, it's, a, it's a new cycle. It's attached to your, your birth chart, your Akashic records. You're being guided through a situation. And you're about to have a new start. So just, just know you're on the right path, okay? Um, tell me about this Knight of Pence. So you could be dealing with air. Now you got two Aquariuses in one pile. It could be a government job. Man in uniform. 
somebody high up in rank. Somebody is extremely successful. Somebody about this three of pence. So that could be a boss. <clears throat> if that's your boss, it, they could be a little intimidating. But this is also a very gentle King of Swords energy. You know what I mean, jelly beans? Three of pence, please. So we have the King of Cups. Okay. There's definitely two men on the board. If not three. The bottom of the deck, you have the Devil. This could be temptation, but then underneath that, you got the Seven of Swords. So you could just be dealing with the Cappy, but there's a tox. One of these situations is toxic. Or not necessarily toxic, because I'm getting like a no. Um. Fearful, frightful. It's probably more like it. This one's definitely regarding love, and this one's definitely probably regarding work, or it's both. Okay, because this one's looking at the knight right here. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, and this king. Okay, these are two different kings. It's not the same energy. And this one's looking right at her. He's almost thankful she's in the picture. And, and now he's just like... This one's ready to pursue something. This looks like somebody is, who's more business. This is somebody who's more soul. But he's he's looking at her. And he's looking at this one like, ooh, maybe this one can make me lots of money. Maybe this one can be like... Because they're both looking at women. Hmm. Tell me about this two of wands. Four of cups. You're going to get another offer. And that cup's awfully big this time. To me, that's, that's screaming second chance. I don't know why. Because this is my original deck and I've never looked at that card as second chance ever. usually a card of boredom but I, I don't see that here so to me it's it's more like a new opportunity are you gonna take it this time because last time you did it so this is new energy some of you will be dealing with a lot of masculine energy work love family um, 
but this is this is definitely the bottom of your deck like your, your ships are here this is your future this is your new start and it's it goes to two the three you're just missing the four because you're not you're not dealing with the drama right the four talks about stability so you're on your way to something reliable stable solid You might even be traveling the world, but um, tell me about this four of cups. <clears throat> yeah, something. See, this is something that's transformed. It's it's the death card. There was a transformation. That's why I was feeling the second chance. That makes a lot of sense. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, any sign really. It's ironic there's no fire here. I mean it could be arguing with a fire sign or you were dealing with a fire sign, but not anymore. I mean you could be, this could still be them coming in as new propensities. This one could be a friendship, Aquarius is all about friendships partnerships this to me screams love I mean picture this being work if you guys were intimate before because I'm looking at it that way now too if it's one person they want to keep it just that no see no mm -hmm. we're both looking at women there's definitely whatever's coming up is definitely part of your your karma but to me it would look like dama and it's saying don't worry tell me about the three of pence damn Okay, so now we got the Emperor and <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> so this is a new start with passion, work. You could be dealing with an entrepreneur. But this is passion, love, excitement, inspiration. I mean, this is definitely part of... your karmic contract but like this seems like work with the emperor but see the emperor would be inspired by you or they are attracted to you like I said somebody's worried about love so everything I just said in a nutshell to me the emperor would be work You do have at the bottom of the deck the Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups is not focused on any of that. She's just focused on a new direction, a new start. Will she give someone a second chance? She's definitely dealing with people from your past, but this is multiple people from your past. These two people are not the same, and this could possibly be a third. But I feel like... Well, it could be a father, like I said, with family, but I feel like this is more work because looking at, see, that because the star speaks of inspiration, too. And three, right? You got inspiration, you got love, you got work. There's a lot of things you could be experiencing with this new start. Phew, phew wee guys, phew wee. Okay, that's that's a whole lot. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. Um and enjoy this. Do what it is you're you're doing. Don't I guess the best advice I can give you is don't stress out, but to me, you're looking right at the owl. You know something's guided. Okay. 
my best advice I can give you is legitimately go with the flow. Don't overthink. Don't allow this energy to get the best of you. Because then it clutters what you're really capable of. When this gets presented, deal with it then. But for now, it looks exciting, fresh, spontaneous, adventurous, happiness, passion. Maybe you guys, you know, there's something about quarreling in the past, but like, now you mesh. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.